Good morning, man. Hope you're having a great, great day. Today, I got so much inspiration. I was on the way to Miami this morning to handle some business out. So I heard a great sermon from Stephen Furtick and I want to share it with you. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave the link to the sermon and YouTube video in the description of this video. Poor, even when you're poor. P-O-U-R, even when you're P-O-O-R. And a lot of times when we talk about poor, we definitely speak about financial situations. And he was talking about the story in the Bible where the, the, the woman, she was visited by the disciple and was asked to fix him something to eat when her plan was to go ahead and use the little bit of oil she had left and a little bit of, of, of bread she was gonna make with that to feed her sons and then die. And you ask the question like, will God ask you to continue to give when you feel like you have nothing to give? Will he ask you to pour even though you're poor? And when I was listening to it, and even in my life, because I believe all of us have a certain area in our life where either we feel like we're poor in it, or we actually are poor in that area. It could be in your mental health. It could be in your physical health. It could be in your forgiveness, your heart, your love. It could be in a lot of different areas, your spirituality, of course. You can feel poor, but, <clears throat> excuse me, but when you're feeling poor, even when you're feeling P-O-O-R, continue to P-O-U-R, and watch God fill up that vessel for you because God continues to bless the areas that we're poor at. He is the one that meets us and he intercedes in the areas where we're poor. Such a great, such a great word. When you think about that, it's like, look, he has to like bring you down to the rock bottom to fill you back up again. And we tend to want to hold on to what we have when we have it instead of going ahead and start to give it away. I've learned, I talked about that earlier this week about service and, and stewardship and being a servant when you feel like you got so much going on in your life, how serving will fulfill you and bring you back up. So I'm just giving encouraging words out there today. You may be feeling like poor in certain areas of your life. It could be a lot of things going on. You could be poor in relationship, poor in, in, in parenting, poor in your, in your marriage, poor in a lot of different areas, poor in family. But if you're feeling that way, continue to pour because when we feel poor we don't pour into for example when we feel like our relationships are going bad we tend to pull back and not pull back into that relationship because we feel like there's no return if you're parenting your child and you're going through hard times and they're, and they're not acting right and things are going to going hard the natural human inclination is to pull back and not continue to pour into that because it's not reaping any benefit and you feel like you have nothing left to give I can give nothing left to the situation. I can do nothing more with the situation. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull back. I'm not pouring no more into it. I challenge you and I challenge myself to continue to pour in the areas of our lives and things in our lives that are poor. Pour when you're poor. Because I believe that that will give God an opportunity and also teach you about fulfilling and giving and also being filled up again when you've given actually everything you can because a lot of times we feel poor and we're not actually poor we just lost the mom the mindset of gratitude we we've, we've ignored the good things around us we tend to feel poor when we're not poor a lot of times we're just going through a season and of course at every season it will change and things will come back but don't just get so poor that you don't want to pour anymore because pouring is actually one of the things we were brought here to do I believe that love is a form of pouring. P O U R. Pour when you're P O O R and when you feel P O O R and watch the things change in your life. I hope you got that. I'm so excited about that message. I want to thank everyone for their support and everyone that's watching the videos. I want you to have a blessed and prosperous day and go out and pour into something that you feel like you're P O O R in right now. Be blessed.